in terms of like, you know, percentages, because I know some people have like, okay, you should save this percentage, you should invest this percentage. Do you believe in any of that? And what do you recommend? I think there are guidelines that can be helpful. I think, um, you know, the 50-30-20 method argues that 50% of your money, your take-home pay should go towards needs, 30% towards wants, and 20% towards financial security, meaning savings, debt pay down, and investing. If you can do 20% towards all of that, great. If not, it's still worth doing, even if you can only do a couple bucks a month. I, I don't think there's a percentage at what point you shouldn't do it. Right. And then the ultimate hope is that over time, as you make more money, your needs and wants will be a smaller, smaller percentage of what you're spending your money on. And that saving debt pay down and investing can be a larger and larger portion, but it really is up to you. Okay. Another big one that I want to talk to you about is like the money mindset, right? Cause I think a huge part of it is like believing that we can make money, like believing it's possible. So what, what mindset do we need to have to be rich? Yeah, I would say we want to have a mindset of abundance over scarcity. And I think for many of us, it feels a little woo-woo, right? Because like if I sit at home and I have nothing in my bank account, I can't just will abundance into my bank account. Yeah, how do you feel rich without having it in your bank account? Exactly. Well, this is what I think is so important. It's like having that abundant mindset because when you are able to take opportunities and not being so risk averse that you're giving up those swings at bat, you're able to make more. So a great example is you get a promotion or you get an opportunity at an outside company and you're like, oh, I don't know. Like I've been working at the same place for five years. It's pretty good. I'm chugging along. I have good stability. Like should I really take that risk? It's like from a place of scarcity, you think you're never going to have it better than you currently have it. But from a place of abundance, your thought is like, nope, at this new company, I'm able to make 20% more. I'm having an equity stake in this startup. And worst case, if it doesn't work out, I can always find another job. I can always come back to this job. It's that just feeling of like confidence in yourself. And that is really, really important to believe that you can And I think a big part of that starts from recognizing how we visualize rich people. Society often talks about them like they are just holier than thou. They are smarter, better, faster, stronger. They're not. Rich people are lazy, so lazy. And you should want to be able to be lazy too. What I mean by when I say they're lazy is that Rich people recognize that their bodies and their brains are not as good of a money-making tool as their money is. Because how many days, you know, like how many days a week, how many hours a day could you feasibly work before you just straight up burnt out and passed out? Like there's a there's a limit to that. Whereas your money can work 24-7 around the clock, doesn't need a lunch break, doesn't need right. to go to the bathroom, doesn't need, you know, to take a vacation with their family. Your money can keep working for you all the time. And it's understanding how the system works that really helps people change their money mindset. 